Welcome back everybody, it's D with these Taco Box and today I got a uh, little sneak peek at the box that I was telling you guys about um, the head and box with all the nice bright lures that I posted a while back I wanted to show you guys some of the differences between the uh, color codes on some headings and you can apply this to some other uh, brands because I believe there was a couple of other brands that used some of the same colors and stuff and so you find these colors in other uh, crankbaits and other topwaters and different uh, companies from around the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and switch the angle so y'all can enjoy this uh, breakdown from a uh, first person point of view. And that way y'all can see each model under the light uh, the way we get them uh, ready for pictures. Okay, so give me a minute and I'll pop back up. You'll be able to see everything as we talk about it and talk about the differences in the color patterns and the codes and the models okay give me a minute okay so here we are with the box that we're going to be showing you guys today and i'm mostly a heading collector so i got a lot of head and stuff but this here is one of the ones that i love the most the colors um you're going to see that there's going to be some stuff in here that's hard to find but we wanted to talk to you about two of the patterns in here specifically um, I see them listed on eBay a lot and people will list something like this. This one here is actually a tougher one and it's a pretty cool color. Um, this is the river run, the deep diving version of the same. See the code? This one says GR. Now when you go over here to the other color that almost looks the same, but it's not. This one's sealed, I can't open that one, but I got one here. This one here is your GRA. That's your fluorescent green crawdad. And this one here is just your GR, which is your green crawl. Now, there's a big difference in the value of both of these types of lures because if I was selling this guy here, this is a um, tiny river runt floater. If you notice this in the GRA. Now remember, and I'm gonna show you what makes the big difference here because even then, some will not see any difference in the color but if you look at this one close up compared to the big pattern on this one close up you can see that this one has scales on it see that scale pattern this one over here is just your fluorescent type of matte type finish the texture even feels different this one has your glossy color and um you're going to notice that they have a, a very, very distinctive belly color too. They're different. This one's orange. These are more red. And in all of these lures, when you see them on eBay, sometimes people will call this one GR and put it extremely rare because that rare color refers to this one with the scales. If I put this one up for sale on eBay with the GR, see, this is the original one with the box. Hasn't ever been opened. The label's still closed. The tags are still sealed in the back over here. Um, these go for a lot more than the tiny in the GRA. You probably can get like 20 bucks for this one, 15, 20 dollars. But something like this, you can probably get 35, 40 bucks for it. Maybe even more, depending on if, who needs it and if they need that color. You know, I got, um, let me show you different models here because we do have different types of models on the runs too and that way y'all can see and this is this box has a lot of good lures in here and they're all jam-packed together on top of each other all over the place uh, just get them and i'll drop them in these boxes and continue to add to them as we go well this one's kind of got hooked in here with the other one i was going to show y'all the zara the what is this, the baby Zara? Yep, the baby Zara. 
So we got a, um, let me see. This is your floater. This should be your sinker or your digit, midget, river run. This is your tiny floater. Where's my other ones here? This would be your River Run Spook sinker. So you see? Different body sizes, styles, length. These two floaters here. Man, don't you just love this stuff? All these hooks everywhere. These two floaters here are uh, both the same length type. Uh, they're elongated and these two are more compact. This is your sinker and your midget. I'm missing the, uh, let me see. I'm missing the one, let me see a floater. Who am I missing here? I'm missing somebody in between these two. Well, we're gonna continue to keep on searching for the rest of these models because I, I wanna add to these. So if you guys out there have some that I don't have here, in the runs, let me know. I'll trade or buy. Then oh, I can't get that little one out of there. Then we move on to. Um, let me see. On these, I only have in that color that I showed y'all the GR. I only have a couple of those here left. I already sold all of those. This is the deep diving river runt in box that hasn't been opened. This one hasn't been opened. The seal still closed. That's a pretty cool one there. And this one I'm going to hold on to because I'm trying to put some vamps together. But some of these might end up leaving here. Um, here's one. Another color that goes along with these is the brown, brown crawl, which is BRS. is the uh, color code assigned to that uh, particular pattern. BRS, and that's the uh, brown crawl. Dad. Look at that. These are beautiful. I love the color on these because of the bright bellies I bet I can go catch me a bass right now with these suckers so um, we have a deep diver <clears throat> in that version as well this one's taped shut but there you go you can see it now I think I got an extra one of those let me see I think I might have an extra one of those somewhere over here Yep, I got one extra one of those BRS. If anybody wants that one, $35 to your door. That's a good one right there too. I got a couple more up there and um, different patterns and stuff like that. Uh, I do have what is a crazy crawler from a store named Grandpa's. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is a Canadian, I think this is a Canadian packaged one, yep. Right there, look. And this is your Head and Crazy Crawler plastic. Oh, I love this. This is your GRA. See, box is correct for this lure. So, pretty much NOS hasn't been fished or anything like that. It's just, I guess it was opened and Whoever had these before like to cut out the box here for the name to stand out. I noticed it in another box somewhere. Hmm. Somewhere I noticed another one. Here goes a couple more of those. This one I was waiting for because I hadn't been able to add one of these to this particular color collection. This one here. So I was really excited when I got that one. Thanks, uh, Jake. Appreciate the hook up with these that goes very well with the other two candidates for the same color this one here which is the um, original swayback head and zara spooks you can see the bend and you can see the seam right there under the hardware that's your original zara spook the color is brs and that that one right there is a rare one. It's a tougher one for sure. You can look it up, see what they sell for. Here is your head and dime flutter. 
this one is so cool this is one of my favorite lures i actually lost my favorite warped up tore up one that had been with me for years uh just a couple of months ago on um out here fishing on the pond and it just didn't come back up so we got a baby zara this one here is a newer you can you can see the difference in the pattern and the colors and all that now let me see this one actually has a difference you can see the yellow a lot brighter in between the scales on the newer and then let me show you all something here this is uh one that i've had for a while there's a yellow coach dog deep six and you are not going to find another one anytime soon laying around i've had this one for a while and this is a really tough lure here I think it's the first one I've ever seen in this color. I don't know if anybody else has one. If you do this color, I would like to see it. And if you're selling it, I would like to buy it. Let me know. I also have a couple of other weird type of, uh, like this crazy crawler came from Japan and um, it has some dice in there. Shoot that sucker for some craps. Okay. Then we got, um, let's see. Here's a tiny little something. I think this is a widget. Yep. And it is a tiny little thing. Come on, camera. You can see it smiling at you right there. In our favorite pattern, of course. And what else do we got here? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, here's the one that was missing from earlier. It's this guy right here. See? This is your Head and River Run Spook Sinker. Awesome little piece. Because I think the one that I have in the box is the floater. This is the sinker. Is this the floater? I can't tell. It looks like it's a double of that one, so... This one might be up for sale. Has the original hook still. I like that. Um, let me see. What else do we got here? This one just continues to be so stuck in here. We're not going to get that one out. I'm going to have to cut that thing off or take the hooks off and redo this. Uh, this one was a sample. Came off of a ring somewhere. Somebody decided to separate it, I guess, and it has the piece that was hooked to the ring and the color code for a gray ghost. It's a beautiful piece. Here's a couple of the brighter stuff, the GRA. I forgot what color this one is, the code, but it's a really bright one. I would have called it something like... Um, sunrise or something it looks beautiful it looks like a sunset or a sunrise either one depends on what the time is right and then this one here i really like the color and the finish on that that's a yellow uh river runt but it's a transparent color yellow and not only that it's one of the deep diver uh, versions and look at this, it's just a bright, bright see-through yellow. I love this. And I think it's coded correct to the box. Let me check. Make sure. Yep. There you are. 9400 Deep Diver OSS. What else do we got that y'all want to see here? Let's see. This one here doesn't belong in here, but I keep it in here. Emil. You sold me this one, Mr. Perlansky, and um, it's from a Whopper Stopper. It's a tie clip, and I have worn it. I love this stuff. Anything like that, I'll, I'll put it to use. Let me see. And this one here, I forgot about this one. This River Runt RBA. I have to remember what that one, the code is, the color code, but you can tell it hasn't been opened, so it's brand new in a box. Hasn't been opened. Hasn't been fished, hasn't been used. Hopefully the other side is as clean as it looks. 
Let me see what else we got here. We got a couple of clear spooks, but those are, I mean, the tiny chuggers, those are not rare, super rare. It is when you get them in the clear with the no dot. See, we got both here with the dot and without the dot tail spot. We still have a couple of other items in here that we're probably not ever going to sell. Like this frog here. One of the paint overs. And this uh, tiny deep diving run. It's a beautiful lure. You just don't see these on eBay and popping up here and there for sale. This one is a very tough one here. Um, I don't know of anybody else that has one like that. That's uh, That has been um, maintained all together with the... I guess this one hasn't... I know it had been out before. There you go. Look at this. And I try not to touch it or handle it too much because the finish on it but look at this one here isn't that just beautiful they call this color bloody mary and on the code for heading it's the head and big head 9330 nfl nickel plated let me see what's the rest of it fluorescent something We're gonna check for you right now. Let me show you how we do this. So the color on this one is nickel plated, chrome fluorescent pink, I believe. Hmm. Nickel plated, chrome fluorescent pink or red. One of those two, let me check my book. For that particular lure, that color is called chrome red fluorescent ribs or plated, chrome plated red fluorescent ribs. So NFL. And it says Bloody Mary was the name that was given to it originally. And the uh, chrome red fluorescent ribs is a rename of the Bloody Mary name that was given to it originally. So this is an original one. Um, and it's pretty cool. I love the color. Let's see what else we can find in here. I hadn't even seen that one yet until I got ready to put that aside here. A loony frog we just received. And there is one of these guys here. Here's the one of these red belly J O N River Run Spooks. And this one. This is going to be a tough one to find box like this, so this one's staying right here where it is. I don't think I have another one, or I might have an extra one loose. I'm not sure. If I do, that one's going to be for sale, and I'm keeping this one here in the box in the box. So, thank you guys for joining us here. And now that we've got done with that box over there, um, I hope that you guys were able to learn the differences, the subtle differences that make a lure worth more or tougher or rarer in its model and pattern uh, between the GR and the GRA. GR being the green crawdad and the GRA being the fluorescent crawdad as well as the BRS which is the brown crawdad that we talked about. Now on the next video we're going to show you guys a little bit of more details on your hidden tad poly spook. Now if you notice there's a white eye a gold eye, no eyes, yes eyes. Does that make the lure different? Does it make it float? Does it make it wiggle? Does it make it suspend or is it sinker? Let's find out uh, together on the next video. So I hope to see you all there. And if you have any questions or comments, just drop them in the comment section below and we'll look forward to hearing from you guys. Till next time, signing off.